know, looks like I'm gonna have to make a 120 mile trip, round trip, because I forgot to bring some one inch skid body PVC pipe. Now I'll get this all in and then go do it. Okay, waiting for the sun here to warm up this poly pipe so I can unroll it. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put the end on and the well cap. This is my first time doing a, a well pump and installation by myself. But I don't think that it's going to be that big of a deal. Or at least, hopefully, I don't. <laughs> ah. Time, time, time shall tell. That is for sure. Okay. Okay. One like that. These will go on there. These will go on there. Okay. Let's get the generator going. Uh, hopefully it'll start. up a little bit.
kind of want to get these in there well that poly pipe is still warm Whew. i mean warm that uh though but not too warm because you don't want it to be cutting into the pipe itself you just want it to mold mold into it See that pipe's hot. A lot of people use a propane torch just to heat the pipe up. I've got a 70 torch, but I don't have one of the little propane torches. I should buy one. But I did have a heat gun that I use in electronics all the time. So heat shrink and stuff like that. Okay. It's a 5 16 on that. So, I'm going to go find one. Okay. inch well pump it's one of the cheaper ones but it's a really good deal and some really really good reviews on this thing so h2o i think i'm trying to remember remember specifically i'll try and remember when i'm putting this video together to put a link to the reviews this guy did well driller and all that stuff that piece and okay. It's a three wire pump and this should be all the three wire stuff. Now it comes with like 120, 130 feet of 16 gauge wire. And that's just just not enough. That's not big enough. Not even close to being big enough as far as I'm concerned. So we're gonna switch it out to a uh, 12 gauge wire. We look like we have four, four actual wires here. Huh. Okay, well that's probably ground. Yeah, that's gonna be ground. Interesting. Okay. It's supposed to be 115 volt. <laughs> I guess we're going to find out here very shortly. What does it say? 1.5 horsepower, 110 volt, 1.1 kilowatt consumption. So that should be about 12 amps, 12, 15 amps for 110 volt. But we shall see. And here it is. I've got neutral line one. Interesting. Okay. Well, we'll see how this all goes. I got the wire spliced from the 12 gauge to the 16 gauge, double sealed, and then vinyl tape. This is on. I still need to go about every three feet and tape this flat 
along this. I've got to straighten this back out. Once I get the wire run, then I'm ready to put it in the into the well head there. So we're getting there. Nice. Okay. Get all the yucky stuff out of there. Oh, wait. And then I'll have to put some more chlorine down in there. So, progress. 